Let me know that's coming my way. We're going to work on our scissors, calls, our switches. He's always alert to all of them. No question. Uh, communication is, is one of our keys and one of our goals. Uh, we have to be able to communicate because, you know, the bottom line, you have to get everybody on the same uh, page in the coverage because, you know, if you've got 10 guys doing one thing and the 11th guy's not doing the right thing, you know, you end up being a big play. Last week against Western Illinois, Love recorded six tackles, including one that resulted in a six-yard loss, and he also broke up two passes. Jamar is from North Little Rock and is majoring in sociology. I love it here. This is, a, I think, one of the best colleges to play college football on Saturdays with the fans, the way they're behind us 100%, and we just enjoy it a lot. Coach, when Lorenzo Ward said he wants to be good and he's willing to work hard to become good, that's, I would think, what you want in a football player. Oh, definitely. And, and Jamar did work tremendously hard this summer. And, you know, he was voted captain by his teammates, and I think that speaks for itself. But he's going to keep getting better. A lot of new technique, a lot of new fundamentals that we teach in, in the different coverages. But he's certainly a young man that, that plays hard every down, uh, has the physical ability to play the game, and, like I said, works extremely hard. Well, each week on Inside Razorback Football with Bobby Petrino, we recognize one of the Burroughs kids. This is being brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. They also donate $20 for each point the Razorbacks score to the Burroughs kids. And our Burroughs kid this week is sponsored by the Saline County Razorback Club. Desmond Malden is a ninth grader at Benton Junior High School. This is the first, game, first Razorback game I've been to, and I think it is great. For the second straight week, the Razorbacks find themselves late in the ball game in a fourth down situation, having to make a play if they're going to come away with a victory. Coach, last week you were in a spot where it was fourth and ten. You were deciding on whether to kick a field goal or go for the first down. In this ball game, it's fourth and one, and you've got to get the first down if you're going to win. Yeah, we had no choice. We had to go get the first down and, and make a play to win the game. It's a situation we practice throughout the week, third and one and fourth and one, and, and this is a play here that, that has a great history to it. Chris made a, a tremendous catch, great throw by Casey. Uh, he's not the only option. There's a couple options if he's not open, what we can do with the ball. Uh, and it's just something that we try to do as a staff is practice it, make sure that we have the call already made. We just needed a little better block up top so we had a little more time. You see Michael Smith make a great fake and spin so everybody thinks it's a run. Uh, Casey drifted away from the rush and then what a great job by Chris going up and making the catch and really uh, was a momentum lifter and put us in a position to get a touchdown to win. Chris Gregg just went up and got the football. He was so aggressive right there. He played that play with confidence that you don't always see from a freshman. Yeah, and he has a lot of confidence. And, you know, we, we always are trying to find another way to get him in the game because uh, he always does a great job in practice. He's, uh, he's going to be a very, very good player here. He's big, strong, fast, can catch the ball. Right before the pass was thrown, you mentioned the spin by Michael Smith. He's selling that play to the defense. Yeah, he's he? selling the run. We all want to sell the run. Michael comes up, does a nice right job there. rolling over the ball, spinning, freezes the linebackers. And uh, I think if, if Casey didn't have to rush it, he might have threw that one for a touchdown. Now it's fourth and one. As we mentioned, you have to go for it. You don't have to throw a deep ball there. What was, what was going into your thought process? That's, that's what made it such a gutsy call. Yeah, well, like I said, there's other options besides just throwing the deep ball. That's the first one, and if he's open, we take it. Uh, we could have ran. We had a run play that we had worked for fourth and one, and something we had confidence into. But, you know, I think on that fourth and two and a half, and, and we didn't convert, made me think, hey, let's be aggressive. Let's go for the, the uh, play, the big play, and, and throw the ball. Uh, and, and I have confidence in the play. It's a play that we, has a tremendous history about it. And again, he's not the only option. If he's not there, we have a tight end that delays out in the flat that uh, we tell the quarterback is always open. You've got to have tremendous confidence, I guess, beginning with your quarterback to make the right decision on that play. Uh, is that a call that you make perhaps with an inexperienced quarterback? Well, uh, you know, Casey has, has worked it a lot in practice. And we put it in, in early in fall camp. Uh, we try to get it, it repped maybe twice a week in camp and then uh, worked it a lot during the week. 
he's shown to me that he can make great decisions and I have all the confidence in the world and particularly when the game's on the line now that he's going to distribute the ball, make the decisions and, and keep his poise and, and try to do what he's been coached to do. A big play and a big win as Arkansas captures the victory at War Memorial Stadium. Stay with us. We'll have more on Inside Razorback Football with Bobby Petrino. Inside Razorback Football with Bobby Petrino is sponsored by AT&T Mobility, AQ Chicken, Dillard's, Tony Sacheries, Cruisin' Associates, Fayetteville Auto Park, Sonic Drive-Ins, Northwest Health, Great Southern Wood, Athletic World Advertising, Medical Associates of Northwest Arkansas, Sargento Foods, K-Mac Enterprises, Taco Bell KFC, Simmons First, Allen's, Petty Jean Meats, Coleman Dairy, Stevens Media, Coca-Cola, Lindsay Management, Adidas, Walmart, Dasani, Hanky Brothers Siding and Windows, Arkansas Farm Bureau Insurance, and General Mills. As we continue with Inside Razorback Football with Bobby Petrino, we need to thank Bedford Camera and Video for providing our television monitors at our set today. And Coach, the road certainly gets much more formidable now. You head to Texas next week, a team that beat Texas El Paso last night, and it's a big challenge for your football team. Yeah, it really is, and, and a game we've been looking forward to, uh, the, the Texas game, and we certainly understand the history uh, between Texas and Arkansas, and, and our players will be excited about it. We've got to be in a position where we have an opportunity to win the game in the fourth quarter, and then I really feel like these last two games will help us do that. You've gotten more leadership of late, and, and just in hearing Casey's post-game remarks, uh, he's emerging perhaps as the leader of this football team. Yeah, he's been doing a real nice job, and, and uh, you know, he, he he works hard at it. He spends a lot of time during the week studying and, and trying to understand the game plan. It's real important to him, and, and it's great to see him have a smile on, the, on his face and, and a pride about the way he plays. And He's getting a lot of help from, from other guys out there, and certainly Jonathan Lewigs is doing a great job with the offense, and Jamar Love and, and Malcolm Shepard with the defense. I, I'm proud of all our captains. As you go back to work this week, what are the things you focus on? Well, first and foremost, we need to focus on our special teams. We need to execute better there. We need to cover better. We need to tackle. I think it's going to be a, a huge week for us on special teams. Defense, again, is just is, is being our gap responsibilities. We're playing with great effort. We're just making some mistakes at times. And, and offense is getting the ball in the end zone when we get down inside the 20. When you play on the road, uh, how does that change your preparation? Uh, we'll be excited about going on the road. It's going to be a nice hostile environment and, and we're going to build off of that and uh, go down there and it doesn't change much of your preparation at all. We'll have, we've always worked with the silent cadence and we know it's going to be loud, but uh, we've already prepared for that. 2.30 will be the kickoff time next Saturday in Austin, Texas. Radio coverage along the 